When I was little, I remember my friends hadn't seen Mum in a wheelchair, so I was, it's really bad, but um, <laughs> I remember being really embarrassed because um, wheelchairs were for like old people and sick people and to show everyone that my mum was in a wheelchair kind of to me it said my mum's really sick. When I was little and mum had first been diagnosed, I had no idea what it was. Like, it's not something that you know a lot about, so mum was in hospital and uh, she got told that she'd never walk again and seeing, only being allowed to see my mum in a hospital, so it was really scary. With MS, it's very uncertain, you never know what's around the corner. My dad left when we were little, so mum was our only support and we needed to support her, so the roles had kind of reversed. We became the parents and mum became the child. Um, we were very fortunate that we got um, carers to come assist because an eight and three year old can't cook. We were stuck looking after mum at her worst when they couldn't be here, so they didn't do night shifts, so Yes, she was looked after during the day, but when it came to night time, um, no one was there except for us. So we had to learn from very early on how to help support her. And um, we had to grow up very fast. As I got to learn more about mum's illness and ways we could work on it together, she was very determined. She got told that she would never be able to walk again. And I kind of get the stubbornness from her. So she proved them wrong and um, she went from a wheelchair to a uh, walking frame and then from that to crutches and then a walking stick and now she's most of the time able to not need that. So um, seeing mum's strength to do that gives me strength to know that I can do anything I want to do. As well as being a student and a carer, I also work at the local cinemas. I'm most passionate about movies. I love making movies, I love watching movies, anything to do with movies. With performing, you get to take on a new character and you get to create their world. And it's nice to be able to play someone else and experience their life in their shoes, in that character. It's just nice to have a break and not be bombarded with like what's going on at home. Being 17 and a young carer, it's very different um, to being like any other teenager. Whether I'm at work or I'm at school or out with my friends or doing whatever I'm doing, I'm constantly looking after my mum, whether it's calling her, messaging her, making sure she's okay, if she needs anything. When I'm home, helping around the house, just spending time with her and my brother and I do have some fun, so when she loses her sight, uh, we go, how many fingers am I holding up? And it's just our way of um, getting rid of like the whole dark look on the illness and just making light, and that's our family quality time when she's sick. I think that it's really important that there's awareness for carers, young or old. People need to know that it's not a death sentence and it's not the end of a family and just to have more appreciation and understanding for people who are carrying roles we're just like any other family just with something added that adds to our experience as a family. Hi my name is Courtney I'm 17 and I'm a young carer for my mum who has MS.